Ladies and gentlemen, James Lane here, and as the ballad of Sleepy Joe continues, we run into quite a conundrum. What am I talking about now? Donald Trump was persecuted and almost burned at a stake for a perfect phone call to the Ukraine, a perfectly legal phone call. General Michael Flynn, the same exact treatment. How long did it take for that to be rectified? How long? Now, we take a look at the hypocrites themselves. We turn the mirror back on the Biden campaign and find out that he's having backdoor, sneaky back channel talks with communist China. And they're discussing just how, if Biden's lucky enough to steal this election, just how they can insert this country back into the matrix, back into the deep state, plug us back in, get us right back into the bazillion dollar Iran deal and bring forth the great reset. Folks, you are not going to want to miss this. Ladies and gentlemen, the liars of all liars, the unclean of the unclean, the unholy of the unholy. Folks, we are dealing with the most purgatory-ridden, plagiarizing uh, pathogens, these disgusting creatures, these deep state rats, these deep state psychopaths, these deep state Robots, ladies and gentlemen, Biden, the king of the Biden crime family, thinks he's untouchable. The Democrats think they're untouchable. The left believe they aren't just untouchable, but they are superior to you and me. Ladies and gentlemen, though Trump had a perfectly good phone call to the Ukraine, though General Flynn had a perfectly good phone call to the Ukraine, though many people had a lot of perfectly good phone calls and did the right thing. They were destroyed by the left, by the socialist communist agenda ridden, the Chinese infiltrated mainstream media, Hollywood, the tech companies, the social media companies, they all tried to make you believe that Trump was the devil. Well, folks, the devil himself is here. China, Chinese media says Beijing demanded Biden, demanded Biden, the false prophet, the false president, not even, not ever, ladies and gentlemen. They demanded Biden rejoin the Iran nuclear deal during back channel talks. How is that okay? How is that legal? How is that all right? How is it that a national security threat with a crack addicted son willing to sell this country out for a dollar and a hooker? As long as uh, Big Papa there, the big man, gets a cut, right? Doesn't matter what happens to everybody else. Let's read a little bit. The Biden team's communicating with the communist Chinese via back channels. They claimed violated the Logan Act when they alleged Trump was colluding with the Russians, those leftist hypocrites. Isn't it funny? Isn't it always funny? They do this. I've been saying this. I always tell you, whatever the left accuses Trump of, they're 99.9% .9 doing it themselves. They are like the spouse, the girlfriend, the boyfriend, the angry and jealous lover who's secretly sleeping with the neighbor, yet so insecure, so jealous, and so guilt-ridden, they look you dead in the eye and accuse you of screwing the neighbor. Those gaslighters, they make you feel crazy, and the Democrats, they make you feel crazy, too. It's because they're full of crap, and we all know it. Plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen. This is by Frank Salvato. All right. This is a go. 
According to communist Chinese media outlets, Beijing opened back-channel talks with individuals close to the Biden team last month. These back-channel communications would essentially find the Biden team in violation of the Logan Act, an, an allegation they freely made of the incoming Trump administration in 2016. You remember that. Come on, don't you? You know you do. You know how they viciously attacked us. I know it's easy for us because we're more honorable than the left. We're better people than the left. I'm sorry, I don't mean that as a blanket term. There are some people on the left that don't realize. But you know what? I'm not even going to say that. If you're on the left and you look around and you can't smell the roses, if you're so mind, uh, uh, your mind's so brainwashed, you're so flashed with a little MIB flashy thingy that erases your memory, your foresight, your anything, your logic. Listen, guys, it doesn't take Spock to figure this out. It doesn't even take Captain Kirk. It takes some common sense, ladies and gentlemen. Look to your left. Look to your right. The left is screaming revolution. The left is screaming burn down everything. The left is screaming that the right needs to go to re-education camps, that our children need to learn about transgender sex organs in kindergarten, ladies and gentlemen. The left does not want us. Nor do we or should we care what they want. What we should care about is balance. They have betrayed that and they do not follow that, ladies and gentlemen. Look, let's get back to this before I go too far on a tangent, okay? We all know I'm good at talking and talking and talking. Let's get back to reading the Chinese affiliated, all right, the communist Chinese affiliated Hong Kong publication, South China Morning Post reported that through this established back channel, the Chinese foreign minister Wang Yi undiplomatically and pointedly ordered Biden to rejoin the Iran nuclear agreement, lift sanctions off Iran, roll back the hardline policies against the Chinese communist government. The U.S. shall return to the Iran nuclear deal as soon as possible and without any preconditions. And the U.S. should also scrap all sanctions imposed on Iran, other third party entities and individuals. Yi said this during a video conference hosted by who else? The EU, ladies and gentlemen, the European Union, our allies, our pretend allies, you know, they're infiltrated too. Their elite are bought and sold by Xi Jinping, just like many of our elite are owned, bought and sold by Xi Jinping, folks. Let's keep reading. The conference was attended virtually by foreign ministers from Russia, Iran, Britain, of France, Germany, and all signatories to the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the Iran nuclear agreement that President Trump exited in 2018. And we exited it because we were giving them billions of dollars to bomb us with and further nuclear weapons. Oh, and, you know, persecute people like Jews and uh, Christians, and uh, anybody that isn't Islamic radicalist. Ladies and gentlemen, Iran is not a patty cake palace. It's not the sugar plum land. It's not happy little fun uh, castle. It's not freaking sugar mountain, happy land, la la la. No, ladies and gentlemen, Iran is a place that murders you for protesting. Iran's a place that takes star wrestlers, people with Olympic potential, if not Olympic champions themselves, and puts them to death. Ladies and gentlemen, Iran would destroy Israel and all of the peace treaties and agreements. If we go back to the plan, all of the peace in the Middle East falls apart and war ensues for eternity. Folks, I don't mean to get all... Uh, crazy talk and uh and deep with it but i wanted to just do that put a little motion it put a little backbone and a little oomph a little oomph you know some oomph i don't know what that sound means but i'm trying to to put it towards meaning that it would motivate something here it would build something in you it would give you that oomph it would fill you up with a an urge to act 
an urge to do something, urge to say something, an urge to be upset. I want you to be pissed off about this. That's what I'm trying to get at. I want you to feel something inside of you. I want you to be in this cause, active in this movement. The American Revely not only wakes you up, but feeds you the knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to see what is happening and it needs to affect you. Now, am I telling you to have an emotional outburst? No, but I'm telling you to feel it inside you and let passion flow from your mouth, ladies and gentlemen, from your hands, from your actions. We are in this fight together, digital soldiers. We are in this fight together. Representatives, all right? We read this part here. Yeah, representatives from Germany, Iran, China, Russia, and the United Kingdom welcomed the possibility of a Biden administration bringing the United States back into the subservient fold. Basically, they want us to be their bitch. Germany's state-run DW News called the prospect positive, adding, with Joe Biden on board, it's a German newspaper, I'm allowed, I get a free pass, with Joe Biden on board, all parties to the nuclear deal want to bring it back to life, yeah. China, it rejects any renegotiation of Iran deal. I don't even know if that's still German. I'm just reading, I just kept going. Don't even mind me. Germany's state-run DW, it called the prospect positive. The EU, Germany, Germany runs the EU. Remember that they're happy that Biden could be stealing this election, which we know we are fighting against with all of our might. So we put up a mighty bulwark, a mighty wall, a mighty stop to that. Let's keep reading the idea that the Biden team has opened up back channel communications with communist China on matters of U.S. policy and foreign relations, finds the Biden team engaging in the very acts for which Democrats and progressives wanted General Michael Flynn jailed. And I brought that up to you at the beginning of this um, segment here. The Logan Act, the law the left cited in alleging obstruction and illegal communications by the incoming Trump administration. Remember, that was suggested by Sleepy Joe, who at the time wasn't so sleepy. His dementia hadn't quite set in yet. Is a 1799 law from the year 1799, folks. Horses, buggies. I got a pet chicken named Garfield. You know, 1799. It's a law that calls for the fine and or imprisonment of private citizens who attempt to intervene without authorization in matters between the United States and the foreign governments. Meaning, because Trump wasn't in office yet, because he had a normal legal phone call with somebody from the Ukraine, he was a private citizen at the time, screwing with the government. That sounds pretty tyrannical, if you don't ask me, ladies and gentlemen. As of this printing, and not until January 2021, Democrat presidential hopeful Joe Biden, his running mate, U.S. Senator Kamala Harris. Bleh. Sorry, every time I say Kamala Harris, bleh, I got to spit like that. So we're not going to say Kamala. Ha I didn't say it. It's like saying Bloody Mary in the mirror three times. You just don't want to do it. And the rest of his apparatus are still designated as private citizens and hold no official U.S. government positions. Well, it's even worse than that because his son is corrupt and his entire livelihood is based around selling his name to China. How about that? And we're not talking about China, the pro wrestler, uh, rest her soul. We're talking about China, you know, the place where the people are subjugated to horrors. Uyghurs are put in concentration camps. Everybody's surveilled upon and the Chinese government can come murder your children for fun. This is a communist utopia. This is the socialist dream, ladies and gentlemen. If you want that, you become China. The CCP is a horrifying, genocidal, homicidal, maniac of a government. And you know, I think there's more to this. I think there's something that's going to come out of this because I still, I still see, right? I still see just this chaos on the left. Like they're trying to put forward this, this front. Okay. This, this boastful, this, this, this image Right? Like an insecure bully does when they're getting beat. They're, they're trying to put forward this, this thing 
that isn't representative of what they're actually going through, the mental breakdowns the left are actually having. Uh, you, you, if you visualize it deep enough, if you close your eyes, you can almost see the cracks forming in the foundation beneath the entire Democrat Party, including Sleepy Joe and his son, Sleazy Hunter. Something that makes me feel this, too, is what happened the other week. We talked about this before. Let's talk about it again. It's from The Daily Caller. Acting Defense Secretary Chris Miller stops the Biden transition briefings. We knew that this happened. We've known. And then the story kind of disappeared, right? Nobody talked about it. We haven't heard about what has happened. And from what I hear, the briefings are still cut off. Now, I thought this was a good article to read for it because it kind of gives both sides the perspective. And they say that the reason this happened was because Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, his brother, Jim, James, Jimbo, Jim Bob, whatever you want to call him, Mr. Iraq apartment complex vendor, he and they are compromised. So they had to be cut off for national security purposes. That's what was going around. Now, this also tells a different story where they say that it was just a break because of the holidays. Too many people were off. Too much bureaucracy in the bureaucracy. But both reports have been questioned and subjected, uh, subjected to, to really scrutiny. And I think we should read through this and talk about it and then put both of these together at the end of this. And I'll explain to you what this means. So this is from Virginia Kruta. She's the associate editor here. December 18th, this came out. This is from the other week. Acting Defense Secretary Chris Miller has put a stop to all cooperation with President-elect Joe Biden's transition team. I didn't write this. This is the Daily Caller. They're more left-wing. They're going to call him President-elect. We all know it's bullshit. So before you have a heart attack, simmer down. Senior administration officials have confirmed that Miller ordered a halt to all scheduled briefings Pentagon-wide as of Thursday evening. Folks, look. A top Biden official was reportedly not told about the move, but one official suggested to Axios that it was just a delay during the approaching holidays. Now, that's some in, uh, misinformation. We were told about that. We know that this happened. We know that the left's going to do everything they can to make you feel like you aren't ahead of the game. But I promise you, you're way ahead of the game. We are all ahead of the game. Look. Quote, we had fewer than two dozen remaining meetings on the schedule today and next week, the official said these same senior leaders needed to do their day jobs and, and they were being consumed by transition activities and, and with the holidays we were in the knee, and for two weeks and blah, 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 blah. They're making excuses. It's garbage. They're making up a story. President Donald Trump's 2020 campaign advisor, Steve Cortez, appeared to believe the move was related to recent reports about Hunter Biden and potential business dealings with the Chinese Communist Party. We've seen the pictures of him screwing Chinese hookers. He might as well like be doing that, like with the condom wrapper in his teeth, a crack wrap, uh, uh, crack rock, you know, crack pipe with a crack rock in his hand, um, you know, like a paper that says like U.S. trade secrets. And then like a Chinese communist guy filming the interaction between him and the hooker like he, he's it's caught red handed. This is going to come out. This is going to be insane. I mean, even if we failed in every effort, Hunter Biden's going to go to jail for something. Because if he doesn't, people are going to like hunt him down. They're going to hunt Hunter down and they're going to tar and feather him. All right. This dude's like public enemy number one at this point. And how his father is weaseling his way into the White House is beyond me because it doesn't make sense. It's nonsensical. It's not logical. It's insane. It's certifiable. And it's not happening. At least not yet, ladies and gentlemen. If it happens, I'll believe it when I see it. But until then, I am making my stand against that. I don't believe it one bit. Good. Joe Biden couldn't even get a low-level security clearance right now. He's compromised by the Chinese Communist Party, Cortez tweeted. The Defense Department pushed back on the initial report. They said... Miller asked for a day. Both teams had agreed to take two weeks off because of the holidays. The Department of Defense said that, right? 
Jonathan Swan then stood by Axios's reporting. He added, contrary to this Pentagon spin, there was nothing routine about this decision. Senior Trump officials have been furious at the Biden team, privately blaming them for leaks. And this decision was discussed last night at the White House. Folks, I believe that the Biden team was cut off because the Trump team, the Pentagon, the DOJ, they fed that team information, probably intentionally false. That information was then leaked to the Chinese Communist Party. And then the Trump team, they monitor this. They have some way that they're monitoring this. They saw the connection and these people were cut off. There are things going on behind the scenes. And when you hear about things like back channel talks between China, between Iran, between Joe Biden, there are interests at mind here. There's business going on here. There's money moving around. They want to insert this country back into its pod, back into its rice, uh, its rightful place as the financial fire hose for the rest of the world. So while our children go hungry, they can make microchips cheaper in China. Doesn't matter if those people die in those factories. We don't see it, right? It's absolute garbage. Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, all the people involved here, they should all be arrested and tried for treason. That's my opinion, my professional view, my belief, my opinion. I believe that China has declared a cyber war upon us. This is a new battlefield of a multi attack, a social bomb, a culture bomb, a virus, a um, a, a, a social media attack, a big tech attack. This is an attack from many different directions in many different ways, uh, paralyzing, absolutely paralyzing through infiltration. Some of our most trusted institutions, not just paralyzing these trusted institutions, but then turning them against the American people. Make no mistake, when they said this was a cyber Pearl Harbor, they weren't kidding. And if you think that this is over, this is the calm before the storm, ladies and gentlemen. It's not quiet because they're not thinking of anything. It's not quiet right now because President Trump is, uh, is, is struck down and not knowing what to do. They're quiet because they're waiting for the strategic timing to enact whatever plan they've come up with. As that plan unfolds, I will do my very best to keep bringing it to you ahead of the curve. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you really appreciate me getting you this information. If you really liked what we're doing here, if you were entertained, if I gave you a little bit of a laugh, if I informed you, if you remember this, if you now feel more armed to take on the onslaught of the leftist mouth trolls, the mouth cannons, the ingrates, those fools, if you feel better capable at defending yourself and furthering the American Revley movement, the cause of awakening across this great nation, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. All right. Talk about this podcast. Talk about it. We're cut off from distribution all over the place. This is a highly censored podcast. As you can tell with the information that we're putting out, they don't want you to know this. So do me a favor. Talk about this podcast. Spread the word. Tell people about it. Just get it out there. All the growth we've had, everybody hearing this, the mass amount of people, the thousands of people we've helped wake up across this country, we couldn't have done it without you. So thank you. And if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, do me a favor. Give me the five-star rating. Put in a review. Enter it in. Type in something, ladies and gentlemen. That massages the algorithm on there, and that brings me up the Apple ratings, the i uh, the i pod rate, whatever it was called. I think they changed the name. It's Apple Podcasts. I was going to say iTunes, but the Apple Podcasts ratings and more patriots get to see what we're doing. And we get to wake more people up, we get to spread the word. And that's on you. That's something patriotic that you can do to help us out. And we appreciate it. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. So if you want to do anything else to help out, you can always go to our website, www.americanrevely.com. That's R-E-V-E-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E, all right. That's R-E-V-E-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E, all right. AmericanRevely.com. 
and you can hit the little donate tab right here. You can donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. Anything you donate gets invested into the American Reveille itself. We upgrade our equipment with this. We expand the organization with this and we use it to help wake more people up. When we spend it in batches, I will uh, take receipts. I make a uh, transition documentation. I send it out to everybody who's donated so you see exactly what we are doing with that money. I want you to trust us. I've never steered you wrong thus far. I'm not going to steer you wrong ever, ladies and gentlemen, and you are going to see what we do through transparency. So I greatly appreciate it. It's been a blessing so far to be able to bring you everything. And um, I'm just happy that I've been able to translate this stuff in a way that everybody seems to be connecting with. And um, I just feel very lucky. So thank you very much. Have a great Saturday. And we will return with more videos Sunday, tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, the 27th. So have a great evening, folks. And I'll see you next time. Bye.